and actually the road has literally just disappeared. Hey guys, welcome to the video. So we're here in Cape Lookout State Park and we've got another day riding. We're gonna push on, I think it's Devil's East State Park down near Lincoln City. And it's about 40 miles from here. So not too crazy of a day, but I hear that the climb out of here is supposed to be one of the most hectic climbs in the Oregon coast. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So I've just got Taylor tidying everything up, putting the tent away for a change. Hey, She's... Hey. <laughs> I was putting the tent away. The tent holder's over on the table there, Taylor. Well done. Good job. So it normally takes us about two hours in the morning to get going. We got up at about six today, a little later maybe, and it's been a bit of a lazier morning, but I've done some video editing, because if you guys don't know, I'm editing these videos as we go. So I'm actually up to date, which is a good feeling. Taylor is keeping busy. I better get some work done too. All right, so we're pretty much set to go. Took us the typical two hours as we thought. Bikes are pretty much all packed up actually, and right here we've got a baguette cable tied on the back to my flip flops, which are strapped to the back. If I haven't already ranted about these cable ties in the videos and you haven't heard me, these are awesome. They're reusable cable ties. I picked them up at JCar in Australia, just an electronic store. So good because you can just pop them off and use them for other things. Now we're gonna go over to the bathrooms and then get going. So we're just leaving Cape Lookout State Park now. Taylor just had to chuck her sweater on, it's a bit nippy this morning in the wind. Let's do it. All right, so here's the first viewpoint of the day. That down there somewhere is where we camped on the ocean side. And I didn't realize how close we were to that inlet. Pretty fantastic, this is a really good view. Bit of a push up the hill and there's a bit more to go though. So we're making pretty bad time, we better keep going. Be prepared for a killer climb out of Cape Lookout. Probably been climbing for 15 minutes already. I just had to stop for a pierce, Taylor's pushing on. I have to catch up with her now. So we've made it up to the Cape Lookout trailhead. Up in the fog and the clouds now. Done about 800 feet, or almost. Don't know if it's the top though, gotta keep going. So I think this morning's ride is pretty much cementing Cape Lookout as my favourite spot on the tour so far. Because although it's been a steep, hard climb, it's been through some deep, green forest and it's been really nice. And I mean, you see it now. We're literally up in the clouds. Fantastic. Sand dunes. Yeah. Yeah, like Taylor said, apparently there's sand dunes here. It's about the most random thing you'd expect. Yeah, sand dunes were about the last thing I would have expected up here. But it makes a pretty interesting contrast. It's, at first I thought it would have all been logged. But no, they're literally, it's sand. It's like beach sand. I'm not sure what our elevation is right now. Okay, so Taylor and I love that downhill. I think we both agree it's our favorite descent of the whole ride so far. Now we're gonna continue down to Pacific City Make sure when you get to this intersection that you turn right and go towards Pacific City, even though there's a sign that actually says the bike route is towards the 101. Unrelated. Okay, so we've had another flat tire, first one for the day. It's my rear again, so potentially it's where that slash is in the wall of the tire. If you saw the video from a few days ago, we had five flats in a day. Yesterday, no flats though. So we'll get it off and we'll see what's going on. All right, so this right here, I put tape over is basically our problem that we've been having the last few days. My tire got a slash in it and it's got another little one there. And rocks in that keep penetrating the slash and cutting the tire. So I put gaffer tape on the outside a few days ago and I've just replaced that. And on the inside here, I've put a piece of old tube and then covered that with gaffer tape as well. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that that's what's caused this last flat, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Okay, so like 40 minutes later, we're good to go. I've redone how I had patched that slice in the tire because I was worried that the way I'd done it was actually causing a pinch flat, 
because I used a piece of inner tube that I'd cut up and I hadn't cut it into like one thin piece and it was kind of popping out a little bit. Anyway, it's redone. Hopefully it holds out for 50 miles. Taylor's happy. She just got out of the toilet. She was really busting for a piss since the whole time we are changing that tube. Would you believe this was like less than a mile down the road? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Okay, guys, we're just descending into, I, well, I think it's Pacific City. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, though. It looks pretty, though. Okay. Guanana. Wow, this must be a tourist spot for sure. Cape Kiwanda. Something like that, guys, anyway. Whoa. Check out that rock, babe. Finally getting a bit of uh, distance between us and the last flat. We're here at just coming into Pacific City now. You guys saw the descent in. Pretty nice. We're going to try and keep pushing on because, you know, we've lost a lot of time today. We just pulled off for a few minutes at another rest stop or a viewpoint. Pretty cool view. We're going to probably cruise into the next town another few miles and then have some lunch there. Okay, so we made it to Niskawin and we're just in a little state recreation area. It's right off the highway. It's next to the beach and apparently there's a petrified forest as well just down there we might check out. But we just got the one table that's here. We're eating some lunch. I'll show you what we're having. Taylor, why don't you show us what's cooking? Okay. We've got some rice and Whoa. sweet potatoes. Yep. I have been really feeling sweet potatoes lately. I don't know why. And we're gonna throw in some corn. Yes. But oh my god, something about this corn. It's just so visually beautiful. I don't know. Maybe I'm being really weird about this, but I just looked at it like, wow, this is a gorgeous piece of corn. You're being just, weird. Just vegan things, essentially. <laughs> Thumbs up if you like the corn. Thumbs down if you think it's weird. Right, so we're about to hit the road again. We've got about 14 miles to get to the state park. Uh, Devil's East State Park, something along those lines. Right out of Lincoln City. So, this is where we had lunch or right near here. We're gonna hit the road. Cool rocks, cool boulders. It's Oregon for you. Oh, so we just got off the highway. Uh, this is on the Oregon route. And the highway's pretty busy. We don't really know if we accounted for this way as far as miles are concerned, but it can't be more than like 10 miles longer anyway. And it might well just follow the road. So I think we're gonna take it. There's a lot of really pretty forest on this route. If you listen carefully, you can probably hear the river as well. So we're about halfway done with this Oregon coast bike route diversion off the highway. And it has been a lot of climbing, but this has been some beautiful, beautiful scenery. We're a little bit cooked from all the climbing. Um, Taylor's feeling it a bit more than I am at the moment. But just check out this view. This is pretty much what has got me still pretty pumped about this. So we're pretty much just climbing completely surrounded by this forest. Really dense, nice and cool. Big pine trees. And the road is dead. And the road's slowly getting smaller and smaller. I think we've come the right way. I hope we have. Taylor just checked. We're about halfway probably. So we finally made it to the top of the climb, we think. We're at 957 feet and actually the road has literally just disappeared. But we checked and we're pretty sure we're going the right way. So hopefully it's only like this for like a few moments. So just as I suspected, the descent is fantastic. Climbed up all the epic switchbacks and now we're climbing back down and some epic switchbacks. We knew we were getting to the top because we started uh, you know, seeing the last line of trees, which was good for the morale. But I mean, check that out, hey? It's uh, good, we'll get back to the road, back to the route. We'll be able to smash out the last bit. Hopefully there's not too much climbing involved. I guess we'll see. I mean, if it's anything like this, I won't be complaining too much. We did it, we're in Lincoln City. It was a fair bit of a hike up and down, but I'm so glad that we went that route because as soon as we got back on the 101, busy, 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 like hectic, hectic. So, Taylor's just gone into Safeway to use the bathroom. 
Then we're gonna restock a few things. We need propane because we've probably only got one cook left. Uh, we got probably about just around five days, probably just just under five days worth of meals from one propane bottle for two of us. And so we're gonna get another one of them. Yes, I think I kind of annoyed a lady. Me and Taylor kind of decided to go right last minute, and I guess we cut her off. Um, she wanted to let me know. She was nice about it. So, yeah, Taylor's just back now. We're gonna restock, uh, get some more food as well. Not too much though, we've got a lot of food. <laughs> You've seen it, like seriously, we just climbed with all that. Down to Devil's Lake East, I think, because I think Devil's Lake State Recreation, we'll see. And we can relax. All right, so we're leaving the Safeway now. I've just been chilling using the Wi-Fi. Uh, we ate some bread, let's check it out. This was straight out of the oven. We got two of them, two bucks each. We grabbed some guacamole as well. We need to find these propane bottles and we need to get the campsite. Okay, so we've made it to Devil's Lake State Park, which just so happens to be basically in the middle of town. There's actually Devil's Lake East as well, but don't go there because it's day use only. It's about 16 bucks for the two of us for the night. Taylor's setting things up slowly, but she's doing it. I'm gonna go down to the buy mart because we can't find propane anywhere, those green bottles that we use. So yeah, we'll cruise down there. I think it's two for seven and then come back, it's two miles. All right, we found them guys. Limit two per customer, but we don't want more than two. Good to go. May as well grab a little bit of footage of the beach for you, coming back towards the state park. Pretty busy here in town though. Oh well, there's the Lincoln City State Park beach, I guess. So I'm back at the state park now. Taylor's got most of the things set up. She's also cooking some rice with some corn, I think. Just corn and rice, Taylor? Yeah. Taylor's pretty pooped. I'm feeling all right, actually. So I'm gonna try and sort that tire out, try and repatch that slash again. But this hiker bike is pretty well equipped. I'll show you guys. And so, yeah. It's just way easier to deal with it now than out on the road. So I've got the bike set up on the stand here. Pretty sick that they have these facilities at the Hiker Bikers in Oregon. So yeah, obviously got the stand. There's actually a pump here. Hopefully it works. I'm a little bit nervous to use it. And then there's also a few tools here. I don't know. I mean, you know, pretty basic stuff and probably not completely well equipped. A few missing there, but what do you expect from something like this? All right, we'll see what we can do here. All right, so here's the tube here. Pulled off my old patchwork. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I've cut a bit of breadboard, I'll show you in a sec, and placed it in there. It's sort of like a hard plastic. Now I'm just gonna gaffer tape over it. This is what I'm using here. Cut a piece out of our, you know, chopping board. So that's the slash there. Surprising how much of a pain in the ass that's been. Doesn't look that big. And there's actually another one there as well. So I've tried to get them both with that piece of plastic. Hopefully that does the trick. So I've got the wheel tidied up, at least I hope. We'll have to wait and see if we have another flat, fingers crossed. There is a bike store in Newport that I'm definitely gonna hit and get a new tire and a few spare tubes. But you know, if this holds out, I won't bother changing it until we need to. Who knows, might make the rest of the tour on it. Probably not. Time to eat. So I just ate like all the rice Taylor cooked and it was supposed to be for him both of us there was a little bit left and i left the corn for her so she's out of the shower finally so i can leave all that stuff and go have one i'll show you the guys a shower block so this is a shower block here apparently they're really good so i guess i'm about to find out super keen so taylor's definitely ready for bed she's just finishing getting packed up brushing her teeth and that we've locked the bikes up because yeah we're in town i mean we always lock them up anyway but yeah, extra careful tonight. We've got a lot of our valuables and stuff in and around the tent. Nice big chain on there, so, you know, no one's getting it unless they really want it, but we'll hear them if they try and cut it or something. So everyone's pretty much winding down now. You know, it's about probably 8.30 or a bit later, which for bikers is definitely late. I guess that's what it's like when you're on the road all day. The hiker biker here actually also has lockers, and these lockers are like the ones up in Harlem. Uh, state park and they also have usb charging apparently anyway whoops that starts on charging there anyway all right that's us done for today thanks for watching the video guys if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you've got any questions about today's ride just leave a comment and yeah take it easy see you in the next one